previously on Savannah. May I help you? I have some information about a friend of yours, Tom Massick. I've been looking for that son of a bitch for three years. Hey, 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 you were wonderful, honey. <laughs> that was terrific. Are you a manager? I'm a record producer, Benny Serna. Rise and shine, woman, tomorrow's your big day. You can sleep in when you're an old married lady. Are you okay in there? Mm -hmm. Just peachy. Oh, Elaine is gonna kill me for being late. Well, she's late herself. Well, where is she? She's still in the room with Reese. No, she's not in the room. I just came from there. What's next, Solon? We lost Lane. What? She's vanished. What in the Sam Hill are you doing here? I beg your pardon. Must be some mistake. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. Lady, I said there must be some mistake. This is our room. You're sure you don't have anyone in your emergency room that fits that description? No. I'm, all right, thank you. She's not at any local hospital. Lane! Lane are you all right? What happened to you? Everybody relax. I'm fine. I'm fine. Relax? We were going crazy. Where were you? I was at the hotel. The hotel? Wait a minute. We looked everywhere. I was in the wrong room. What? Well, I got locked out, and the maid let me into the wrong room. Can you believe it? So why didn't you just leave the room? Well, because all those rooms look the same, and I just, you know, I, I, I sat down to wait for you, Reese, and I, I don't know, I guess I just, I just fell, fell asleep. <laughs> you slept through our wedding? Dean, I'm so sorry. I was just so nervous about the wedding, and I took a pill to calm down, and I guess it made wait, me... Wait, wait, you took a pill? Just one. I thought you said you threw those pills out, Lane. Well, I found one in my purse. You took more than one lousy pill. Come on. Well, I had a drink, okay? I guess they just interacted. We're crying out loud. You missed our wedding. Look, I said that I am sorry. You have a problem, okay, with those pills? Look, it was just a terrible, terrible mistake. Is that right? Well, you know what I think? I think it's all for the best, because I sure as hell don't want to marry a woman who's hooked on drugs. Hooked? Wait a minute, you're, you're, you're talking like I'm a drug addict. That's exactly right. This marriage is off.
with Jason? He's asleep. Thank you for watching him. Come in. Hello, Madeline. It's nice to see you, too. I have been living hand to mouth in a rundown apartment wearing secondhand clothes. Well, you're waking in the money, living high on the hog, and don't you dare deny, because I know you own this place. I'm part owner. Well, that's several steps up from when we were together in New Jersey, Mr. Massick. Or is that your real name? What happened? Tarina, this happened a very long time ago. Yeah, but it made such an impact. You know, I actually had to declare bankruptcy to get from all the bills you left me with, you bastard. I'm sorry. It's not good enough, Tom. I want the money you stole from me. I didn't steal anything. Have you got Reese snowed the way you snowed me? Reese? Yes, Reese Burton. Oh, don't tell me you forgot the name of your latest Mark already. Oh, Maddie. Look, I want my money. Plus damages for all the suffering you cause me. And if I don't get it, I'm going to tell Miss Burton all about you. You think she'd be interested in learning about how you courted me, then married me, and then made off with my trust fund? Ooh, I bet you she'd love to meet your poor starving ex-wife. <sighs> It's too bad Lane missed the wedding. Yeah, very too bad. She didn't get to see us in tuxedos, and we really look good in tuxedos. Especially you. I'm never going to fall in love. Oh, uh, yes, you will. At least I hope you will. What's the point if the person doesn't love you back? Jason, Lane didn't miss a wedding because she doesn't love you. And it wasn't because she doesn't love me. Then why didn't she come to the wedding? She's got a problem. She's sick. Oh, where are you going? To make Lanny get well card. You're one sweet kid, you know that? out a small fortune in alcohol here. Uh, and medications. Okay, what about the stuff for upset stomachs? Get rid of it. You never know what Lane might use in a pinch. You know, Lane's been acting odd, but I just thought it was nerves from the wedding and all. What about cooking sherry? Toss it. Look, a brand new bottle of Bronco-fed cough syrup. Hasn't even been opened yet. Did you check the alcohol content on that? That stuff has to go. Ooh, you're right. Here's some more of it. Having fun? Believe me, this is no fun at all, but we are worried about you, Lane. I'm the one who should be worried. My best friends are treating me like a child. We want to help you. Really? By what? Emptying the cabinets of aspirin and, and throat lozenges and, and vanilla extract? God, wow, you guys must really think that I'm pretty far gone. Next thing you'll do, you'll uh, pour out my nail polish remover. Lane, you've been taking pills and sneaking alcohol. How could you let things get so bad? 
You of all people. Oh, quit being such alarmists. Blaine, we're worried about you. We think you're in trouble. I am not in trouble. We think you are. Please. I'm getting dressed. I'll be having breakfast out by myself. No, you won't. Come again? You're not going out alone. Oh, you're keeping me prisoner here? No, you can go out, just not alone. We talked this over. None of us are leaving your side until we think you're all right. What is this? Some sick attempt at tough love? Oh, if you have nothing to hide, you won't mind us being around. Oh, no, no, I mind. Not because I have anything to hide, but because I'm not sure I like you anymore. You can be angry all you want, but until we know you're better... Wherever you are, one of us is sticking to you like glue. Tom was like ice. He didn't even care that I had tracked him down. Tom is a master at hiding his feelings. He's panicked. Trust me, if Reese hears your story, Tom is dead meat and he knows it. How much did you ask for? $75,000. Oh, it sounds like you took your ex-sweetie for quite a ride. Well, that's small potatoes compared to what I'm gonna lose if Reese finds out about her. Well, how did your ex locate you? I can only think of one person that hates me this much. Actually, I can think of several. But only one that knows about Madeline. Let me give you a little hint. Her initials are Veronica Koslowski. My guess is Tom will try to buy time to figure a way out of this mess. No, let's put his feet to the fire now. I want this guy to fry. Did you bring your marriage certificate? Yes, and something a little extra. All right. If you do pay her off, what's to keep her from going to Reese anyway? That's it. That's the sticky part. So you can always tell her the truth. Well, what a wonderful idea. And then Reese can do cartwheels when she finds out about all my past nuptials. You don't tell her everything, sugar. You tell her a little bit of the truth, and you lie your ass off about the rest. All the while, turning on that old massive charm. <laughs> I'd like to see Tom try to charm his way out of this. If it didn't come from the heart, it wouldn't be on the tape. Thanks. The record companies understand this, too. They love you, you know? You sent this out already? Oh, yeah. And? And all the major labels are dying to sign you. Oh. Okay, how do we decide which offer to take? If we're smart, we won't take any offer. What? Yeah, I've been thinking about this all day. We should make the album ourselves. Well, it costs a lot of money to record an album. No, 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 not as much as you think. And it'll be worth it to keep you from getting lost in the shuffle at a big record company. What will it cost? I can call in favors and do some of the arranging and recording myself. We can do the whole project for 50000 Dollars? I can put up half the money, OK? <sighs> but if I scrape up every dime I've got and sell my stamp collection, I can kick in maybe a 5000 Where do we get the rest? Cassie, with all your talent, we find the money somewhere. <laughs> You're destined to be a star. Oh, I just got goosebumps. How does it feel to be this close to your dream? It feels incredible. my spot here. Sorry, I moved. Guess parking's on the other side. Maybe you missed what I said. Guess parking's on the other side. Maybe I'm not a guest. This lot is for police only. So I've been told. You're on the force? Savannah, detectives are sharp. Hey, hey. Dean, what are you doing here? I work here. Are you supposed to have two weeks off? That was for my honeymoon. Well, I guess getting back to work is a good idea. Under the circumstances. Well, thank you. So what's on our schedule, partner? About that partner thing. But quitting? I got promoted. No lie. You are now looking at Lieutenant Michael Wheeler. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Now I get a chance to voice you and your new partner around. 
Uh, new partner. I was thinking about that. What, uh, geez, first my marriage blows up and now this. Hey, look. I was gonna stop by your place later to break the news to you, but... So, who's my new... partner? Gene Collins. Meet Sam Lucas. Benny wants you to go independent? He must think you can hit it big. Guess so. He put up half the money himself. Who's putting up the other half? Me. Wow. $25,000 each. All I need is another 20. That's a lot of cash. Who am I kidding? Disco will come back a third time before I find that money. It's a sweet dream. I'd ask my dad for a loan, but if he knew it was for singing, I'd be a goner. I have the money. Oh, no. I couldn't borrow it from you. I wouldn't loan it to you. I wouldn't let you. But I'd invest it. You mean you would? I want to back your CD. <gasps> but if it doesn't sell, you'd lose all that money. Every investment is a risk. The only sure bet is to put my money in my mattress. But you know what I think? What? I think you're going to make me rich. <laughs> your lips to God's ears. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Dean, how are you? Numb. No, devastated, actually. I can't quit worrying about Lane. Is she home? Uh, last time I checked, she was sleeping. Do you want me to wake her? No, I'll just let her rest. Are you sure? Yeah, just tell her I called. I will. Bye. Bye. Should I have gotten Lane up? No. She needs the rest. Let's go check on her. Sun Pharmacy. Hi, this is Susie at Dr. Holt's office. I need to call in a refill. All right, shoot. Prescription number 071925. For Lane McKenzie. Narcofen? Yes. Well, that's a Schedule C narcotic. Uh, we can't refill it in less than 30 days. Well, that's okay. She lost the pills. Uh, better talk to the doctor about this. Well, he asked me to call. What did you say your name is? I need to put you on hold. Savannah will return after these messages. And now we return to Savannah. I'd love a glass of iced tea. Sure. Thanks. How'd it go? Like a charm. <laughs> Madeline said Tommy Boyd turned a white when he saw a newspaper article. Oh, I wish I had been there to see that. Me too. She gave him 24 hours to come up with the money. Or she tells Reese. He can land up. Who cares? She's going to spill the beans to Reese whether Tom pays her or not. <laughs> and how's your plan going for getting back at Burton? Well, I'm on my way to see Edward and Eleanor now. Dressed like that? <laughs> I chose my outfit especially for the occasion. Oh, Eleanor will take one look at you and burst a blood vessel. That's my plan. The hotter I look, the faster I get kicked out of second chances. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you rushing me out of the store for? I have questions for that cashier. I know these people, okay? I know did, when they told us everything. Did you know he has a shotgun at the cash drawer? A Winchester over and under 12 gauge his father okay, gave Okay, you so. know you turf. But next time, give me some kind of signal instead what of... What part of let's door. go didn't you understand? The way you said it. What's eating you? Third robbery in this area this month. In Chicago, it would have been the third today. We'll try to keep you from getting too bored. Let me ask you something. Why'd you leave the big city for little old us anyway? What's... Caseload, politics, commissary. Too much wind. Mrs. Burton, 
How nice to see you again. I can't say the feeling is mutual. I'd like to apologize for my behavior the last time I was here. Oh, my faith in humanity is restored. Now run along. Actually, I'm here to see Edward on business. Business? Second chances. As your husband's partner, there are pressing financial matters we need to discuss. I'll make sure that he gets that. You don't seem to understand. I need to see Edward. Oh, Miss Kozlowski, I understand perfectly. You're the one who appears to lack the cognitive ability to grasp my message. I don't want you here. You know, when I first heard about you and Edward, I was furious. Now I just feel sorry for him. Who was that, dear? Veronica. Veronica? She brought this from Second Chances. Oh. Hmm. I don't like you doing business with her. Well, Eleanor, dear, it's for charity. Charity begins at home, Edward. I don't want that hooker in our home again. Sit down, would you? You are wearing a path on the carpet. It's a wood floor. It's an expression, sugar. Walking in circles is not going to make your ex-wife go away. That's it. It's over. Madeline is going to spill the beans to Reese, and when she does, I can kiss the Burton fortune goodbye. Mm. I was so close. Okay, well, maybe Reese will forgive you. Hmm? Reese is sweet. Well. And kind. <laughs> and generous. But she is not stupid. Mm. Yeah, but with those big shoulders and all that angel face, I'd forgive you. Very funny. No, in reality, I would be so impressed with that lovely scam you pulled off, I probably would forgive you. But then again, that's just me. Yeah, well, why can't Reese be a little more like you? Hmm. Maybe she can. Expect you so soon. Did you bring the money? No. If you think I'm bluffing about telling Reese that you married me and took off with my money. Well, on the contrary. All day I've been asking myself the same question. If I pay Madeline, what's going to keep her from going to Reese anyway? And I keep getting the same answer. Nothing. So I told Reese myself. <laughs> You're lying. Well, it didn't go as smoothly as I'd hoped. <laughs> Not at first, but eventually she came to see my admission as something that could bring us closer together. <laughs> you know, you are so full of it, Tom. Well, you don't believe me. No. Well, you can talk to her yourself. I'll dial it for you. I'm sure you'd like to make this call, but I have the number, and I will do the dialing. But well, you have her number. Yes, the real number. She's not home. You know, she's, uh... Hello, Reese Burton. Well, you know she's home. Madeline. Sorry, you're too late. This is Madeline Stewart, Tom Masick's ex-wife. Are you by chance free for lunch tomorrow? I liked it better when you could spend the night. <laughs> Me too, dear, but... I know, I know. You have obligations. Just grateful Eleanor let you out of the house. Oh, come on. She's not that bad. No, not if you like the prison matron type. Oh, now, now. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock? Uh, I wish I could, but I'm going to be tied up at second chances all day. Uh. Veronica, I've been thinking maybe it's time you gave up second chances. Give it up. I love working there. Yeah, but I think we, should, we have to think about the girls at the shelter. Women, Edward, not girls, and I do a damn good job. And indeed you do. You do. It's just that uh, there's no getting around the fact that your past has had a negative impact on our fundraising abilities. I thought we were doing well. We'd do a hell of a lot better if we could access some of those society mavens. Who won't have anything to do with me. Some people are narrow-minded, yes. Now, I know that the shelter's your sole support, so... I've drawn up a healthy severance package. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
very healthy. And then, of course, there is the fringe benefit. Fringe benefit? You and I could spend a hell of a lot more time together. Well, that would be enticement enough, but... But what? If I am leaving, promise me whoever you get to take my place will be in good standing with the community, somebody you know personally, somebody you trust, for the sake of the shelter. I will find someone with all those qualities. You have my word on it. Savannah will return after these messages. And now we return to Savannah. Bruce Burton? Yes. Hi, I'm Madeline Stewart. Before I tell you my story, I want you to know that I have your best interest at heart. That remains to be seen, Miss Stewart. I feel uncomfortable coming here behind Tom's back, so to speak. I love him so very much, as I did once. Well, tell me all about him. <laughs> hey! What? I'm so glad we're back together. <laughs> it's been a very long time. Too long. Uh -huh. Listen, mm. I can have the uh, kitchen make something, send it up if you like, some lunch. Mm. Cassie can only stay with Lane for about an hour. We can get a lot done in an hour. Hmm. Let's see, what should we do with mm. our time? Should we order <laughs> lunch? Or should we... I'm so crazy <laughs> about you. You're not so bad yourself. Reese, I still want you to be my wife. Now, you said yes already once, and I'm asking you again. Say you'll marry me. No. No one's ever going to love you as much as I do. My life's just too complicated right now. Let me help you uncomplicate things. It's too soon. So when you say no, what you really mean is, no, not today. I only have 58 minutes left. Do you want to spend it talking? Uh -huh. mm -mm. I am shocked, shocked to learn that any man could be this despicable. Well, I'm so glad you were home when I called. Oh, sure, you're not nearly as glad as I am. You know, he tried to convince me he had already told you the truth. Oh, that snake. And to prove it, he said he was going to get you on the phone himself. Luckily, I am wise to his games, and I dialed your number myself. Oh, wait a minute. You mean he had somebody ready to pose as me over the phone? Yes. Oh, my lord, that man has gall. Well, I guess I have Veronica to thank for this. Veronica? Veronica Kozlowski, isn't she the one who found you? Well, yes, she gave Nick Corelli my address. Nick Corelli? Yes, he came and got me. Reese, he cares a great deal for you. To go to so much trouble to keep you from being hurt. So I owe this all to Nick, huh? <laughs> I guess he has more affection for me than I realize. What? May I go to the bathroom, please? Of course.
Daisy Pharmacy. Do you deliver? Okay, I need some uh, Bronca-fed cough syrup. Great. Um, how much is that? Well, at that price, I'll stock up. Um, would you send six six bottles? Oh, and listen, don't um, don't ring the doorbell. My, my sick sister might be napping, so just um, just leave it on the porch. Okay, here's my credit card number. Idea. Edward, hmm. are you certain that you don't mind me becoming director of Second Chances? A woman of your considerable talent and stature? Why, you're the perfect woman to lead this shelter on its new course. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't tell you how sad I was when I knew Veronica Kozlowski was stepping down from her post. You can't tell me because you weren't sad, dear. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about you, Edward. You understand me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She is. Hello, Rita. Come on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Veronica, long time no see. Oh, you look great. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Nick Corelli. Nick, I'd like you to meet Rita Winsler. <laughs> Pleasure is mine. Rita Winsler, I like it. Makes me sound glamorous. Yeah, well, here's your driver's license and social security card. Don't worry, it's all first rate. Make it checked it myself. Oh, I never worry with you, Veronica. You're the best. Well, what if she gets busted? Can't the police trace her real identity through her fingerprints? Well, now I've never been arrested before, Romeo. That's why she's perfect. No one knows she's a working girl. To the rest of the world, she'll be Rita Winsler, a poor Georgia woman down on her luck who went to second chances for help and was cruelly taken advantage of by the lecherous Edward Burton. You have a very smart lawyer. Are all the changes acceptable to you? Yeah, of course. Because he's going to make us so much money. The details won't matter. <laughs> I'm glad to have a partner who believes in Cassie as much as I do. Go. All right. Wait. When do we start? I'm leaving for Miami tonight to book the studio. Miami? I thought we were making the CD here. Mm, Miami is where my connections are. I want a UC side studio. Gloria Stefan records there. You can reach me at this number if you need me. I'll drive you to the airport. It's too much of a bother. No, it's no bother. I want to see you off. Yeah, but I have to turn in my rental car. You better see me out now. Uh, have a safe trip. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Let me go to Miami with you now. I can be packed in about ten minutes. Mamacita, but you will distract me when I need my waist most. I'll work hard to put everything in place, okay? So I can send for you that much sooner. Hmm? Okay. Hey, has anyone seen the file on the convenience store hold up? See it. Anyone? If there's anything else you want, feel free to take it off my desk without asking. I got a phone call about the case while you were in the john. Now, what was I supposed to say? Can I call you back when I get permission from my partner? If you take something off my desk, put it back. It's common courtesy. You borrow something, you return it. No, I'm not borrowing anything. That is my file, too. We're both on the case. Don't remind me. Listen, uh, I've been trying to cut you some slack because I heard that you got dumped at the altar. And... Hold it, pal. I don't need any comments from you on my personal life. You hear me? And you stop taking your personal problems out on me. Believe me, you'll know when I'm taking something out on you. D, bring that file in here. Close the door. What's going on out there? I'm just working on some leads. I met Lucas. He's your partner. 
As in good buddy? Well, tell him. He's the one who thinks I don't know my butt from my elbow. Every time I turn around, he's sitting there talking about, in Chicago we do this, in Chicago we do that. Then politely show him how we do things here. Well, so far, the only thing he's shown me is his attitude. And you matched him, insult for insult. Now, look, Dean, I know you're upset about your wedding falling through, but don't take it out on a new guy. Okay, I'm edgy. But it's not because Lane didn't marry me. I'm just so damn worried about her, you know? You haven't eaten all day. I'm not hungry. You should eat something. Freezing. You know, I, I guess I am hungry, but... What? Well, can I get a sandwich, too, maybe? Of course. Much better. I mean, you don't have to sit with me every minute. I want to. I'm gonna sit here right by your side until I know everything's all right. Savannah will return after these messages. And now we return to Savannah. You're only allowed to use flattering photos of me to accompany the announcement of my appointment here. <laughs> and I don't want you to print any photos of these poor homeless women. We must protect their anonymity. Indeed, yes. Indeed. That's right. That's right. There you go. Welcome to Second Chances. Yes, welcome. Oh, come in, dear. Come in. Morning, dear. Don't be shy. Now, what is your name? <laughs> Rita, Rita Winsler. Rita Winsler. Well, we are... Oh, I already know who you two are. With all the things you do for people, well, you're practically saints. My, well. All passengers arriving from Louisville, please pick your luggage up at platform B. Mr. Clark. Hi. Going to L.A.? Not Miami? I must hire an uh, ranger for you, and he lives on the West Coast. Well, wouldn't it be faster to fly? Yeah, but I'm trying to save... to save money. Money? That's right. But why? You have so much of it. Or do you have to make it last until your next rip-off? <laughs> rip-off? Rip-off. You know what that means, Benny. It involves stealing money. You think I'm not really making a recording? I know you're not making a recording. Cassie... I wanted so much to believe you that I wouldn't let myself see the truth. But my gut instincts finally kicked in, and I called the manager of that recording studio that Gloria Esteban uses in Miami. Oh, my God. He said you owe him a boatload of money, and if he ever sees your face again, he'll rearrange it. And I know how he feels. Uh, I was desperate. So you figured you would steal the money from me and my roommate? I'm sorry. Are you sorry about breaking my heart, too? More than you know. Cassie, you're truly a gifted singer. Don't bat your big brown eyes at me. Just give me the money. Or not. I can always have the police get it from you. Last call from the Express to Los Angeles. That works for me, too. Give it to me. Get on the bus. Hey. Huh? 
Lane's sleeping. Let's go in the kitchen. Okay. How's she doing? She's struggling to keep it together. And she keeps saying she doesn't have a problem. Maybe she's up. Lane, you have company. Lane? Didn't sound like a shampoo bottle. Lane, what have you got in there? Nothing. Lane, open the door. But I can't. Lane, open the damn door. Just go away. Lane, this is crazy. Lane, so help me if I have to, I will break this door down. Just go. Get out! Oh, good lord. What are you doing? Look at you. This is crazy. You could kill yourself with this much stuff, honey. Stop it! Stop it! You don't understand. I need something. Don't you see you have a problem? <laughs> yes. Oh, see, I don't want to be this way. Please help me. Hello? I called to say goodbye. Where in the hell are you? Oh, I take it you heard about my little talk with Reese. You know, if I ever get my hands on you... You know, I wish you could have seen the look on her face when I told her the truth about you. I hope you burn in hell. I should be given a medal for saving that poor woman the agony of living with you. Good riddance, you slime. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. It means so much more to me coming from a talent such as yourself. <laughs> I told you she bought it. <laughs> you look great in that wig. Oh, well, thank you. In fact... What? How'd you like to get married? Stay tuned for upcoming scenes from the next episode of Savannah. Next Monday on an all-new Savannah. Reese, you have to marry me. It's a perfect plan to get rich quick. I'm afraid that Nick still has the hot for Reese. He could never want her as badly as I want her money. Now they have to stage an unforgettable wedding. <laughs> All we have to do is make sure that she sleeps through her own wedding. We'd like a marriage license. And not invite the real bride. We were wondering if it was possible we could get married here. An all-new Savannah next Monday.